In Islamic eschatology, it is believed that the return of Jesus is connected to the Holy Land of Palestine, whose current inhabitants are seen as descendants of ancient Israelites who have embraced Islam. Those who oppose them are considered to be pseudo-Jews, known as biblical Gog from the land of Magog. How is this argument explained? In Islamic eschatology, the return of Jesus is believed to be connected to the Holy Land of Palestine, which is seen as a significant location in the end times. According to this belief, the current inhabitants of the Holy Land of Palestine are considered descendants of ancient Israelites who have embraced Islam. This belief stems from the idea that Jesus will return to establish justice and peace in this region. Those who oppose the inhabitants of the Holy Land are viewed as pseudo-Jews, known as Biblical Gog from the land of Magog. Gog and Magog are mentioned in Islamic and Christian eschatology as forces of chaos and destruction that will appear before the Day of Judgment. In this context, those who resist or oppress the followers of Islam in the Holy Land are seen as aligning themselves with Gog and Magog. This argument is explained within Islamic eschatological beliefs about Jesus' return and his role in establishing justice on earth. It reflects a narrative where those who embrace Islam and follow its teachings are seen as righteous believers, while those who oppose them are viewed as agents of chaos and corruption. Ultimately, this belief serves to emphasize the importance of faithfulness to Islam and adherence to its principles in order to be on the right side during these apocalyptic events. For most of the population in Judea that wasn't expelled by the Romans, by the way, the Romans didn't expel people. The Jews become Christian and after it Muslims. They become much more Muslims than Christian, you know why? Because Judaism is much more nearer to the Islam than to Christianity, even if you define today the civilization of Europe has a Judeo-Christian civilization. I will, in the answers, if you will have questions, I make it more clear, my critic. The population become Muslims without knowing that they become no, uh, Muslims. Because Muhammad is another prophet that recognized all the other prophets before. That my conclusion that in the 70th century, most of the Jews become Muslims. It's not my opinion. I'm not original. The first Zionist coming to Palestine, Ben-Gurion, you heard the name David Ben-Gurion? They believe that the Arabs in Palestine are the descendant of the Jews. It's not me. Till the first revolt of the local people against the Zionist colonization, Zionists say that the Palestinians are the real descendant of the ancient Hebrew. And they accuse me that I believe that Palestinians today, they are the real Jews. The real Jews, uh, the real uh, descendant of the Jews. The Palestinians. No, no. I, I think that Palestinians of today are a mixture. Now, I don't believe that the Palestinians are the descendant, direct descendant of the ancient Hebrew. I think that it's a people... A mixed people, like all the people in the world, even the Bulgarian. Sorry. <laughs> but the chance that a Palestinian will be a dissident is much greater, greater than me and a lot of Jews that are in this room. Sorry again. Now, 